Hey there guys, how has your week been? As I opened up my laptop this morning, I had a huge realization. It was the end of the month, so I had to scribble down my expenses as well as how much income I was able to make from different sources. And while all the other streams fluctuate from month to month, the one that I will talk to you about in this video was steady growing for a while. And this month, it finally ended up completely surpassing my actual 9 to 5 income. It is crazy to me how nowadays I don't even spend that much time on it and it still ended up doing this. It is just a crazy business model that if you implement right might be completely life changing. So let's get into it. I think most of the software developers that I know are looking at money and financial independence completely wrong. If you are a developer currently stuck in a 9 to 5, you are probably leaving money on the table. I know because I was in the exact same situation. Sure, a coding job pays well, but there's only so much you can make. Salaries have a ceiling and promotions take years. Those days during the pandemic when people had multiple remote jobs and overemployment was a thing are over. Companies are cracking down, layoffs are happening and job security isn't what it used to be. I'm not saying to not have a full-time remote job. I myself am having one as we speak. But the truth is that for the last two years, my annual salary kind of kept out. I mean, sure, I had some promotions of about 10 to 20% year to year, but before that, it used to be exponential. Raises of about 100%. Looking back, I know now that it was an anomaly in the job market. Tech firms are now rarely even hiring juniors, so you're lucky if you get employed, don't even think about raises. But the salary offers stability, I can't deny that. However, if you really want to get ahead financially, the key is decoupling your time from your income, at least in the side hustles that you do after work. Because right now, you are trading hours for dollars. No matter how skilled you are, you are limited by the number of hours in a day. The famous people with financial and location independence approach this completely different. That is because the real money comes from building a product once, then getting paid over and over again. And as a developer, you are in the best possible position to do this. Code offers leverage, not to mention building something from scratch is easier now than ever, with AI tools helping you out and the internet that's full of answers. You already have the skills, you just need to use them in a way that scales. I'll be honest with you, there are a lot of different ways to do this. You could build profitable mobile apps solo, create SaaS products or even automate a service. But there's one business model that I keep coming back to because it's low effort, high reward and completely passive once it's up and running. If you think about any app out there, it probably needs some sort of data to function. For example, weather apps need to know how many degrees are out there in all the cities at any point. If you'd implement a calorie counting fitness app, you'd need access to data regarding the calories and macronutrients in all the foods out there, and so on. That's where you come in. You can feed apps this much needed data at a low cost. For each piece of information you give out, in return you'll get paid a few cents. Most developers don't even realize how much money there are to be made with these APIs. Companies, startups and solo developers need them to save development time. Instead of building a feature from scratch, they'd rather just pay a small fee to access an existing API that does exactly what they need. Moreover, think about the fact that they will know for sure your way of fetching the data is the most straightforward forward and optimal out there, another reason to choose it. Once you've built an API that solves a specific problem or provides a certain type of data, you can earn recurring revenue as companies and developers gradually integrate it into their own projects. This way they get to skip the hassle of building it themselves and you get paid every time your API is used. Personally I've been doing this for a while and last month alone my APIs made me over $5000 in passive income. The best part by far about this is that I barely had to touch them after the initial setup. Now you might be thinking, ok but how do I actually start? And that's cool, I started this short after I actually understood what an API was. The process is simpler than you'd expect. You don't need some massive complex API. In fact smaller niche APIs often perform better because they solve one problem really well. Pretty much anything you can think of here is fair game. There are a lot of industries 
to be accommodated from transportation data, news, language translation, the list can go on and on. A lot of devs assume that only big companies can make money with APIs, but that's not true at all. I've seen people making solid income just by offering small, useful APIs that save people time. And once you have your API up and running, you can list it on platforms like Rapid API, where developers actively search for solutions they can integrate. You don't need to worry about marketing or getting customers, because the platform does that for you. People just find your API, use it, and you get paid. Now obviously there's a right way and a wrong way to go about this, you would need to pick a good niche that's on the come up, structure the endpoints of your APIs correctly and know how to price it in a way that maximizes revenue but is still a good deal for companies. It's not just about writing code, it's about understanding how to position it so that people actually want to pay for it. That's exactly why I put together a full course on this, where I break down everything from picking the perfect API idea to setting it up and getting your first paying user. It covers everything from the start, including what exactly is an API, so don't worry if you are a beginner. It also has a lot of free lessons in it to see if it's a good fit for you. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link to it first thing in the description down below. The bottom line is, if you want to stop trading time for money and actually build something scalable, APIs, in my experience at least, are one of the best ways to do it. The demand is here, the barrier of entry is low, and once you get it right, it's one of the easiest way to make passive income as a developer. So yeah, that's my take on the best coding business to start in 2025. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have you ever thought about selling APIs or do you have another coding site hustle in mind? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, thanks for watching and as always, happy coding!